Am I the asshole for not letting my kid interact with a neighbor's dog? Okay. I, 34 male, have a 16-month-old with another on the way. We are not a pet family. My wife and I do not like dogs or cats. Boo. We- <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Judging already. I'm oh sorry. Yeah. We have no plans to have any, even if in the future the kids beg for it. Oh, but you'll have crotch goblins. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fully antinatalist, <laughs> Josh. Yeah, because yeah. now you're now you're pet free, and I'm like, I know you guys are on that side of the coin. Hey, you're on the dog free mm-hmm. subreddit. subreddit. Yeah, my son was playing outside the other day, and an old an older lady with her two dogs walked down our street. I think a golden and a smaller one. My son is very friendly right now. Says hi to everyone and will yell at anything that moves. <laughs> and that piece of shit loves dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's not my fucking son. <laughs> It's my fucking bitch wife cheating on You're me. Just as making well. shit up. It's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> the lady crosses the street after my son says hi and comes and asks him if he wants to pet the dogs. I told I hold him back and let the lady know that we'll just say hi from here. She goes, "Don't worry, they're friendly and very well behaved." I reaffirm that we'll just say hi from here. She just kind of stares awkwardly at me. I'm hoping she'll just move on. She goes, are you not going to ever let your son around dogs? <laughs> oh, shit. Has this happened before? It seems weird, like a uh, fucking... Yeah, like, why is she making this big generalization yeah. after he said What's no twice? <laughs> I say something along the lines of, he is still very little. Right now, we are teaching him to just say hi from far away and to not go up to touch them. <laughs> When don't talk to strangers involves the dogs themselves. <laughs> the strange dog, uh, probably good. Probably a good idea, honestly. Yeah, I mean, but... yeah, uh, we'll allow it when he is older, but not right now. I say, I say, have a good day. Trying to end the conversation, she starts giving me uh, parenting advice. <laughs> I'm going to teach my kids to be afraid of animals. This didn't happen. Implies I'm going to stunt their development. And says she is a firm believer in introducing them young. She mentions her kids grew up with dogs. I tell her I don't agree with you and you can fucking keep walking now. Oh my god. She's taken she's taken aback that I said the F word to her. She goes, poor kid has an asshole parent. I just walk away. Am I the asshole here? Like you said twice that this woman was like, well, here's what you need to do about your parenting. Can you shut the fuck up? Like I, this is so wild that this interaction happened. Am I the asshole for telling my husband that sometimes I get the ick over how he always drinks wine instead of beer? That's because beer is ass. Ascended take? All alcohol is bad. You shouldn't Mm. drink (laughs) it. I'm joking. Okay. Yeah. I, 31 female, have been married to my husband, 32 male, for three years now. I love him and we have a great relationship. However. (laughs) (laughs) That's what you're howevering about? However. That you love him? (laughs) <laughs> great relationship it sounds not great in the, the <laughs> it sounds not fun the way you write however. it like that okay <laughs> however yeah however we recently had our third anniversary mm. we went to dinner and then when we came home we were reflecting on our marriage he asked me have you been happy with me as a husband mm. i told him yes that i've been very happy he then asked okay but is there something you wish i would do differently Something I hadn't been seeing that you would be like to be different. I thought for a second and then answered, well, whenever we go out, you always order wine. I know you like wine and I don't care. But Mm -hmm. once in a while, I think it's a little weird that you never order beer or liquor instead. It's probably just where I grew up. But sometimes I see it as less masculine, and it gives me a slight case of the ick. I grew up in rural Minis- uh, MN. Is that min- Minnesota? Yeah, it's Minnesota. Yeah. Where we grew up in the Twin Cities. I just never saw my grandfathers, dads, or uncles drinking wine. I was just being honest. He got this hurt look on his face that- and said, That's not what I was asking. I wasn't asking you to judge my personal taste. I just wanted to know if I was neglecting you or taking you for granted in some way. Oh, this poor man. <laughs> oh, He's still a little mad at me, 
I know I was being a little judgmental. I suppose. But oh. he asked me a question and I thought I was just answering honestly. He shouldn't have asked if he didn't want to know, right? So am I the asshole for showing everybody what my ex wrote on his final check to me? I, 51 female, divorced my ex-husband, 53 male, seven years ago. We were married for 14 years and had three kids together, 22 male, 22 female, and 18 female. I was a stay-at-home mom and I suffered from constipation that while... <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that, that's a troubled life. Wait, wait. <laughs> I literally don't wish constipation on anybody. It sucks. I've never it heard suck. anything. I want to stay at home up. <laughs> it just, I don't, I'm not laughing at the constipation. I'm laughing at the fact that that was the second line. Yeah, like, it better play into the story. I that's just really, you if you just chest. say that, I just, you really don't know. know how those two went together. She needed to tell somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care that you're constipated. So. That's her character. <laughs> like that's a personality Fiber. trait of her. I was a stay-at-home mom, and I suffer from constipation. That, while doctors say isn't IBS, has definitely made me suffer from joint and back pain when I eat things like dairy or any other food sensitivities. We live in New Jersey, and the judge made it so that child support and alimony would end at the same time. I had a lot of issues in my marriage, but at the very least, I had three great kids that I love who love me. My ex has been very bitter, saying I should have wanted counseling, even though I was completely neurotypical and it was him suffering from depression. He also discredited my want for a divorce by saying I was acting out of emotion and asked me to take a step back and think. And if I hadn't, as if I hadn't been thinking before, he was also working 12 hour days and overtime. I was the one taking care of and giving the kids what they needed. My son now has graduated college and is a genius. He has his own app development company and makes more than my ex and I could ever dream of making in a year. That's awesome. My 22 year old daughter has a degree in nursing and is married and, and is marrying her fiance who comes for money. So she's set as well. Oh, I would love to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> However, as Probably. far <laughs> <laughs> However, as for me, I've been suffering from menopause and back aches and a lot of the entry level jobs that would hire me would leave me in pain and exhausted. That hasn't stopped my ex from griping and dismissing my real pains. Long story short, he sent my last child support check and alimony check in the memo of the alimony line no. and the alimony check he wrote freedom. Good luck then. It was such a mockery to the health issues that I've suffered and all that I put into the family. I showed my friends and they agreed that he's still a blunt, daft individual. Mm. My 18 year old was there and she said she couldn't believe he thought of her that way. Mm. Mm. Then my older kids found out through screenshots and because of my health issues, my son has been sending me $3,000 a month while my ex sends me 2.5 plus what's needed for our youngest daughter. He spent a lot of his childhood with unmarried parents and resents the fact that my ex proposed to his girlfriend, 48 female, after only two years. He called his dad a bastard and said he and my 22 year old would always help me out. He's also been saying that he'd make up for what I'd lose for my ex because he could afford 5.5K. But he told me my ex has been telling him to save money and only send me under $2,000. My ex is now backtracking and saying he only wrote it on my check, but the kids are not amused. He invited them to his wedding, but my 22 year old said she might be better off just focusing on her own wedding and that she'd help out too if I needed it. Am I the asshole for blasting him when he clearly wrote it to be seen? My fiancé likes cuddling with their stuffed animals more than me. Throw away for obvious reasons. This is going to seem strange, but please read because I really do need some advice on this. I've been with my fiancé for three and a half years and we'll be getting married in the next few months. We honestly have never had any issues worth mentioning until last September when we took a trip to a sci-fi slash fantasy convention and ended up coming back with a gigantic, think large, beach ball sized Tachula plushie. See? T-H-U-L-U. At first, we thought it was funny and cute. We even named it Kevin, if you're curious, and made up a funny voice that it would use. Over the course of the next few weeks, however, they began to take it all much further. They started to come up with a backstory for it. They would hide it throughout the apartment to try to freak me out. Over time, they really started to refer to it in a way that you'd talk about your pet or something, even to the point of scolding it for various mischief that they'd accuse it of. No... 
They've now started to do the same with other gigantic stuffed animals. A manatee named Horace, a duck named Anthony. Initially, I thought this was just some silliness, but I'm worried that they're taking it too far. I've mentioned in passing many times how strange it is that we are treating stuffed animals like people, but I'm only met with silence, followed by insistence that, quote, they are little people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, this all came to a head when I've started to have nightmares about these things. The most vivid one involved the Tachula taking over people's minds and forcing them to paint their worst fears. I woke up in a cold sweat and I was so confused that I actually Googled the doll to make sure that there wasn't anything weird about it. Anyways, I told them about it, again in the context of how dumb it all was, and they got mad that I would accuse Kevin of doing such a thing. Not Kevin retaliating in your dream. <laughs> I think that they actually got mad enough that they're shutting me out. When they lie down on the couch for a nap, they grab the doll, but push me away when I try to lie down with them. Things are fine when we're out and about, but when we come home, they're always going back to that damn doll. I've thought about throwing it away, but I honestly don't think they'd ever forgive me. I just wish that they could see what this damn thing is doing to us when we're at home together. Does anyone have any ideas of what to do? I need a picture of Kevin and Anthony and Horace. I'm so confused what a chachula is. It's It gives like anime, right? Can you oh my God, it is terrifying. Oh. That's what's coming up when I search the word. A chach... I should probably figure out how to pronounce this. Everyone is probably screaming I at know. me. <laughs> Cthulhu. 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 A Cthulhu is a cosmic entity created by writer H.P. Lovecraft. It was introduced in his short story, The Call of Cthulhu. It's characterized as the priest or old leader of the Old Ones, a species that came to Earth from the stars before human life arose. So that's a Cthulhu, guys. It does seem like that would come speak to you in your dreams. I'm a little scared. Now I'm going to have nightmares about a Cthulhu. Would this be a deal breaker for you? I don't think I'd ever be in a situation where this would have to be something I have to think about. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> Carrie's implying that because she is queer. No, I, mean, I, I literally just mean like if <laughs> Jenna were to like if Jenna suddenly like gave all of these like stuffed animals like personalities and started naming them, but talking to them as if they were characters in our lives when we were at home, I'd be like, it's not funny anymore. I'm scared. But what if she continued? What if she would not give it up? What if she was I don't so... I want to know why. What's going on? They are little people. Especially if they're haunting me in my dreams. I think I'd be, be like, hey. Hey, where's this coming from? Yeah. I think you got to like knock it off at a certain point and just be like, okay, babe, like I, I get it. I'm kidding. But if she's actually serious about this and like this is now becoming like a whole zoo, like you got the Cthulhu, you got Horace or Wallace, the whatever. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit. The, the whole cast. You got everyone. Were they always like stuffed animal people though? Because I know like people are really into like the Squishmallows and they collect yeah, them. Yeah, so there's like, a big community out there for those. And like that's fine, but as soon as you start giving them like real personalities beyond a bit, I that's don't know. a little concerning. My girlfriend is upset at me because I asked if she was a home wrecker. My girlfriend said she had something to tell me and wanted to talk in a quiet spot. She then proceeded to tell me a lady showed up to her work asking for my girlfriend because the lady's partner who my girlfriend works with has gone on four dates with my girlfriend and the partner hasn't come home after two of them. I trust my girlfriend and know she's loyal and hasn't been on dates with this guy. The guy has been helping her and her family with some construction work around their house such as fixing the water mains when they were leaking. I know my girlfriend didn't cheat on me and isn't a homewrecker because I trust her, but I was quite shocked when she told me as I got cheated on in my previous relationship. I blurted out, are you a homewrecker? This was intended to be more of a joke and not an accusation. Immediately after, she smacked me on the shoulder and got visibly upset. I also felt upset because she smacked me out of anger. I found out that my wife is in over £10,000 of debt. About five months ago, I noticed that my wife's spending habits had changed dramatically. After a lot of prodding, she told me that she had 6k of debt on credit cards. After querying the remaining 2k, she admitted that she gambled the rest away. This pissed me off to no end. However, I told her I would give her 4k and she would have to sort the rest out 
herself. I then made sure she joined an organization that stops her from registering or gambling online. Last night, I was about to send her 4K and take two of the three credit cards off her. When I asked her to show me all her balances and interest rates so she could use the 4K to clear the ones with the highest interest rates, this is when I found out she was actually 10.5K worth of debt. I'm absolutely fuming, not sure what to do. I have the money to clear it off for her, but on principle, I don't think I should. 